the first time i got a call from a r rahman's office saying that uh, there is this composer mr a r rahman who would want you to come to chennai for uh, recording the songs of uh, his film his new film which is called roja and uh, i had not heard of him and i was so busy in bombay i was doing five six songs every day and we used to do live recordings so you know it's it, it was not that i could dub them later on we used to uh, uh, record with the musicians and the do it the if they do it in the, the male singer and everything together so there was no way i could do it later so uh th- i got a call saying that uh, we want he he would love to have you he loves your voice and he would love to have you for his film. so uh i said but i'm not free i don't have any dates because i'm totally mm, you know my schedule is completely tight so they said nahi uh, he has really requested you because he would love you to sing the songs and they just just the kind tailor made for your voice and we want you and kumar sanu both of you to do the entire album for this film so i said okay i'll let you know then uh, and those very dates which they wanted me to be there on were very busy i had a line of recordings so uh, i called up mr kumar sanu and i told i asked him i said did you get a call from some some ar rahman's office in chennai saying that they want to do he said yes yes i did i did get a call and uh, they want me to come also and do all the male songs so i uh, said are you going he said nahi kon jayega because nobody we didn't know and he was also very busy in bombay and i was also very busy so we said he said meri bhi sab recordings and i said I, i also have songs lined up so he said ki main to nahi jaunga pata nahi kon hai ar rahman i said yeah even i haven't heard kon hai ar rahman pata nahi i've never heard of him it might just turn out to be something very you know uh, not something very great so none of us went i refused i said sorry i can't make it he also didn't go he then there after when i heard the songs of roja i could have banged my head on the wall because it was such a big loss and uh, that's the first time i heard his compositions on radio and i was absolutely floored by the songs they were beautiful songs and i that's something i regret to this day having missed out on those songs then when i went to sing for him the first thing when he saw me he said is uh, you didn't sing my roja songs and i felt so bad he just said that one line and smiled and that was it and then we started working on the song um and that is something he kept telling me for for a num- you know a number of my recordings when i went to chennai to, he kept take the same you didn't sing maroja songs and i would feel so bad not only because i had said no for the song but also because i had lost out on some great great evergreen immortal songs so uh that was a uh, a very big the probably the biggest uh, mistake of my career i would say <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained